Sergey and Robert. Five years ago, we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. Salve! Ciao! We have arrived in Rome! Yeah, fantastic. The little place that we're staying, it was a little questionable because it was only $128 for four nights. Yeah, I mean, it's a room, it's a bed, we have our own bathroom in our room, and so... It's perfect, yeah. It, uh, we are arrived here, it's 1900, 7 o'clock um, here in Rome, and so... We're getting our bearings and uh, adjusting and hopefully sleep tonight because we didn't really sleep on the plane all that well. I think we got it's a couple hours in, Easy right? flight. Yeah, easy flight. We did, it was like seven hours in the first flight and three hours in the second. So mm -hmm. pretty, pretty simple with the seven hour flight. And a run from our plane to the next plane in Portugal because yeah. we only had an hour <laughs> in between. But, but it worked. thankfully there was another 30 people with us yeah. running. So They had to hold the plane because half the plane was still running towards a plane but so. our, but our flight our flight our both flights were not full but our flight from us again was probably half full and so we had a whole roll to ourselves, get kind of getting used to it mm -hmm. it makes sleeping much easier of course so. yeah i got to lay down actually so i should have slept better than i actually did but. and this place is this place that we're standing in is really close to the vatican um, I'm not exactly sure how far, but I think it's right here. Uh, the street's lively in front of us, but great deal. And we're going to keep this. We're going to go to Monaco on Monday, and we're just going to keep this place. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, always interesting and a surprise to me and where we're staying because um, I never know. And Bob's like, I hope this place is okay because it was only $125, $28 for four nights. And I'm like, but it's very uh -oh. nice. But it is very nice. It's fine. Yeah, and in Europe, this is what you have, is you have these homes that were apartments at one time that are split up into individual places. And yeah. sometimes you share bathrooms, sometimes you don't. This one doesn't even have a shared bathroom. No, so. we have our own in, in a little closet here in the room itself. So very next nice. up for us is just heading outside because they have these open markets along the streets and we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring but i would guess in about a couple hours we'll be ready to be done and so getting back on the timeline here here's the room not much but nicely done awesome picture right awesome picture <laughs> what's the picture of <laughs> the vatican yeah bathroom and shower I think what is interesting about how we travel is the accommodations that we stay on and that we are tolerant of. I mean, we are right next to the Vatican and we are paying only $128 for four nights. I mean, that is ridiculous. Our place, our room is not five stars, but it is all we need because we're really just sleeping in here. and so. Be around. We have a little closet here to store our stuff. We have a tiny refrigerator there if we need and want, um, you know, for soda and water and what have you. A little desk and a chair. Tiny little TV, which we don't use. This opens up to the courtyard, I believe. I think I can open it for you. Here's the courtyard below. Nothing fancy. Here is our bed. Bob already showed you the, the restroom and he's actually taking a shower right now, but I'm gonna walk you into the hall. Need to turn the lights on here. This is kind of the com slash common area, but little sink if need be. And then all these rooms are divided into each are being rented out. 
And like Bob said, this is very common here in Europe to find places like this. So there you have it. That's what uh, um, $32 a night gets you for in Rome down by the Vatican. So we're going to head on out and we are going to check out the street scene uh, for a couple hours and then hopefully hit the bed and we will see you guys in the morning. It's already the start of the holidays here in Rome. All the beautiful Christmas decorations. Lighting's not great because it's night out, but here is our first slice of pizza. The interesting thing about the pizza here is um, you actually pay for it uh, by the weight oh, instead yeah. of the actual pie or the slice. So this is my first bite into Italy's pizza. Mmm, <laughs> very good. Mine has pesto on it, a little spicy. Could be warm though. <laughs> so guys, this is the Vatican. Beautiful lit up at night. Right in the center. Wide open to the public. No issues with coming in here in the middle of the night. I shouldn't say middle, it's about 10 o'clock at night. But the whole piazza is open and people are roaming around and taking photos. Really pretty setting. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Sound right, boys.